But here, every time we serve somebody, we say bless you and thank you. Come on, somebody. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Yes. That we're not here to charge you. We're not here to boss you. We're not here to give you instructions, directions, to tell you. We're here to serve you. Let's give all of our servants a hand. Amen. Today, lunch is being provided by the men of Daniel Circle Choir. No, Daniel Circle Chapel, the men of the chapel. And the choir. Now, some of you may ask, where is Daniel Circle? Daniel Circle is at Fort Jackson. It's a church there where some retired military people and others meet and have church. And they heard about you. Heard that you are eating lunch here every day. And so during our 30 days of praise and thanksgiving, they said, hey man, we want to be a part of that. So they've come to prepare lunch for you today. And they are excited about you, excited about the lunch, and excited about the service. Are you excited about them? Amen. Well, let's give them a hand. Hey. From Daniel's circle, we have a young lady, oh, a wonderful friend of mine, who is an artist in her own right. Having performed in every major venue on the East Coast and having served as far out as Alaska, she has come here today to share with each one of you the gift that God has put in her. Now, she is noted for her dramatizations. She is acknowledged for her ability to speak and rap. As a matter of fact, I understand she worked as a rapper. It was gift wrapping in an apartment store. But she <laughs> <had that. laughs> and so, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Alaska, California, Phoenix, uh, uh, in Korea. Arizona, Korea. from North Carolina, Washington, D.C. Here she is, live in Columbia, South Carolina, at Christ Central Mission Station Number One. Let's put your hands together and welcome, welcome, Louisa. Please, Doc. Son, Doc. We need a 
choir to sing like we sang. <laughs> when he said we sang, I know exactly what he did. <laughs> and I said, well, how many people you want? He said, many as we come. So that took me back to Granny in the country. Whosoever will, let them come. <laughs> so I just start going out there and I talk a lot anyhow. And I start talking to people. Talking to people. And next thing I knew, we had musicians, we had singers, we had women singing bass, we had men singing tenor, men singing bass, and boy, it wasn't even two weeks. We had uniforms. Somebody helped us make little blue dresses. And the men put on their little outfit, and we come marching down the aisle in the church. Nobody believed this was possible. But here we come, in a black church on Fort Jackson, South Carolina. <laughs> it was amazing. And it's still going on. Yes, and thank God. And now the men yeah. got a men's choir. <laughs> Boy, we need to hear him. They something else. <laughs> but that's not what I got up here for, but since he brought it up. <laughs> Back in uh, the year of 1851, there was a woman named Sojourner Truth. Raise your hand. You know who that is? Sojourner Truth? She was a slave. She had, yeah, she was a slave. Well, you can raise your hand. You black? Raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> she was a slave. Okay? Don't try to make me put on no hands and be cute. I'm still going through some changes. Uh huh. Yeah. I might be looking good, but I'm slave. Yeah. But I'm. Well, that come at the end of the show. <laughs> And agree 
Every man should be free. I wish I could give yes. all I'm longing to give. Yes. I wish I could live like I'm longing to live. I wish I could do all the things that I could do. Though I'm way overdue, I'll be starting anew. I wish I could be like a bird in the sky. How sweet it would be if I found I could fly. I saw to the sun and looked down at the sea. Then I'd sing cause I know. Yes, I'd sing cause I know. I'd sing cause I know how it feels to be free. Yeah. 
of his African king daddy. His tall, sleek build told the world of his athletic abilities, yet his mannerism and speech told of his political tendencies. Wake up. <laughs> oh, yes. I met a beautiful black prince today who was destined to be a king, standing and looking and listening. I'm trying to have to ask his name. He told me he was the water boy. <laughs> yeah, Emmett Till, Paul Robeson. Jackie Robbins, Sidney yeah. Poitier, yeah. Harry Belafonte, yeah. yeah. Medgar Evans, yeah. Dr. Cleveland Sellers, yeah. yeah. Bishop Redfern, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Congressman Jim Clapper, <laughs> my pastor, Reverend Greg Foreman, right. Honorable Mayor Steve Benjamin, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., right. President Barack Hussein Obama, yeah. and so many others, heroes of this day. Now, these are heroes. We don't have to be doing this, do you? But God called you, and he made you what he wanted you to be living inside of you. Yes. Yes. Where will I be when that first trumpet sounds? Where will I be when it sounds so loud? When it sounds so loud, it wakes up the dead. Tell me where will I be when it sounds? All right, I'm going to cut the show. I know when I'm supposed to go. But then there was a man, yeah, that mark. While many performers performed during the civil rights movement, none like Mahalia Jackson and Nina Simone sung songs of deliverance as Martin led armies of people. He led all kinds of people from all religions and races of whom, of who were willing to follow our true and living God. God's plan to Martin was a path to freedom for all God's people. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a great man at this time. Yeah. Yeah, you know he was. And he struggled for freedom for all mankind. Nonviolence was a robe he wore every day of his life. And he had no need for arguments, struggles, nor strifes. Peace was the sunshine every day of his life. And he had no uh, strife. Everywhere he went, he had God on his mind. Little Satan would tell him, Mark, get behind. Still, he kept God on his mind. People threatened his life. They put him in jail. But he did not worry because God never failed. They beat him and scorned him and spat on him too. But he did not worry then because he knew he would come through. You see, he prayed to God to give him the strength to endure. Because his soul was right and his heart was pure. Then one evening, while he was standing out all alone, God said to Mark, Son, you're coming home. Your job may not be finished. But you run a good race. Mm. Come home now, my child. You've been blessed with great grace. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I gotta keep moving. I gotta keep moving. Cause I'm a long way from where I've been. Keep moving. You gotta keep moving. Cause we're a long ways from where we are.
Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. Now, 